Welcome to a Below Par production. Elliot here today, handing over the commentary to Jacob. And I'm joined in the commentary by Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy. Kia ora, Jacob. How's it going? I'm good, thank you. Today we have Ashton versus Willie in the Div 1 League final. We're looking forward to this match. Oh, it's going to be a epic one. Here we have uh, Willie Stats for the league. His overall score was negative 59, averaging near 6.6 around. You also note he was a fourth place finisher who won his call in the semi. What are your thoughts? Oh, Willie is an absolute crusher in Christchurch. He gave me my first two discs getting into disc golf, so I have a lot of time and a lot of respect for this guy. Wicked. He uh, should be in for a good round with, uh, watching Willie today. Um, here we have Ashton Stats. Uh, overall score of negative 56. Uh, averaging 7 down per round and he finished second place and then won his preliminary final to shoot straight through to this one. Of course. Ashton is the defending champion from last year's Christchurch League so this is going to be a good show. Any uh, score predictions for us before we get into it? Oh, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> there we here we have hole one, Jelly Park, open wide hyzer, Ashton with his voodoo. Crush. Is that the voodoo? Yeah. Very, Sorry. very low. <laughs> Big putts. Well, he's up next, what's he got? Now with the hyzer out. Safe play. Good shot from there, he's not a big shot. Ashton pulled up a little bit short. Should be given a good run though. Easy layup, easy par, move on. That's really what you want to be doing in the first holes. Take a nice easy par and move on to the next one, isn't it? It's, it's gettable, but it's a it's a little bit of a bonus. It's a nice one to get, but not necessary. Oh, Willie with a chain out. Ashton with the par, be all right with that. Willie cleaning it up. Yeah, two Moving parts of a whole one. It's pretty, pretty standard for a league match. Get the nerves out of the way and uh, move on to the next one. Now, hole two. I find this one quite interesting. Um, there's a couple of different shots you can throw. What's your preferred one? Oh, I'd take a big, big hard any line um, with an overstable disc. Stay away from the water. You really don't want to be in that stream. It is um, it's a dirty, dirty jelly park stream. Sounds like you've been in there a few times. Oh, yeah. Swimming more times than I like to admit. There's a great forehand from Willie there. You have a nice look for a bird. What a beautiful morning it was for it as well. Looks a little bit, little bit cool, maybe a little bit dew on the ground, but that uh, might play into a nice few skip shots for the boys. Lovely day at Jelly. No, no wind, winter's morning. Couldn't ask for much better. Maybe a bit of heat, but that's all right. Set. Oh, 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 I thought it was going in the water for sure. That dirty jelly water you're talking yeah, about. Dirty jelly water. Wow. 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 <laughs> Maybe feel ripped off after that one. <laughs> Chain so. out. No mares. Tapping out the par. What's Ashton, Ashton got? He's got a long, long look to save a par here. Oh no, he's not going to lie that one. Oh uh, well. You hit it from the man himself, yeah. silly runs. <laughs> Gotta run those ones though, he'd still be in circle there, like Ashton's, he's a confident putter with those P2s. Hole 3, forehand hyzer. Willie drawing it up, maybe a bit short, but that's that's nice. That yeah, was very nice from Willie there. Ashton also going with a forehand, is, is that his zone that he's throwing? It looks like it. Zone. That's Super a flick. Clean. Super uh, clean. That is parked. Ish. Ish. <laughs> was that a tester, is it? Oh. Uh, he should be. Sh he be oh, right, I'll, put my, I'll put money on that he's making that one for a bird. Yeah. I think it's a pretty safe bet. Oily with another chain out. A little bit low, but. Damn. Ashton, bird. Yeah, lovely. Right. Yeah, that's, that, that's more like it. These, these baskets do catch something. <laughs> That birdie after bogey stat really needs to be a thing. I'll, I'll be killing it. I'll, I'll probably be the leader in that those, those <laughs> sorts of stats for sure then. Just, you know, like to keep the, color, uh, the scorecard nice and colourful. Hole four, again, staying out of that dirty jelly water. Oh, Ashton, early release. The human uh, magnet. Right. Oh, we should wait. Oh, we should wait. Oh, 
we we're just sneaking over that path. That path does play as OB, so we get a little bit of lucky there. Bit of an uncharacteristic play for the boys on this hold. It's, it's one of the ones that you're you're looking to get, especially being in the group one. You know, these guys are very good. Willie with a run. A little bit of the tree to his right there, but he does have a clean open look at it. Oh, that's an able. Come back up. Cash money. He made a putt. He made a putt. He made a putt. Good work, Willie. Ashton, cleaning up the par. That's why I swapped because I had so many bounce outs and stuff. I don't know how many times I like the feel of them. I like. Going to chat from the boys here, that's always good. Hole 5, another one with OB path right. Really don't want to turn one over, so the straight uh, fade is the play. It's nice, uh, sa safe safe uh, shot from Ashton there. They have a edge of circle putt for a bird. Well, he's attacking this one a bit more. He's going a bit more aggressive. It's got that reliable fade out, though. A little bit of cabbage slowing it down, but that'll, that'll work. That'll work. It'll play. It'll play, I reckon. A pristine morning for some disc golf. No one around at this time either. That's great getting down early. Bit of, bit of frost on the ground. I heard it was pretty cold, which can come into play. Can can affect the grip. Can affect the movement of the body. But we'll see see what what it does to the boys or what it doesn't. Uh, a little bit of frustration there from Ashton. That's a uh, few they've gone missing already. But um, I'm sure we pick a bit, pick it up. Ooh, left side. Yeah, what is going on? This is, <laughs> this is, uh... We'll just start our round on the back nine. Well, there you hear it. So we actually aren't starting this video onto the back nine. Um, is that how you play your round? Um, not traditionally, but if that's how Ashton wants to play it, <laughs> You usually start on hole one like uh, me? Usually hole oh. one, yeah. <laughs> oh, well. So going into hole five. It's five, isn't it? Yeah, it's five. Going into hole five, we uh, we're all tied up. We're all tied up. It's a close, even battle. Maybe a few nerves playing on the, playing on the boys at the moment. Um, it is the Division One final? We've got hole six, uh, Obi Creek left, and the road on the right. Another one you want to get, and that is going to be a death putt and a half. We've got Willie stepping up, a little high, set. That needs to get down. Oh, oh. Ooh, he's lucky there. Lucky, lucky. But in the end, that's, that's a good place to end up, I feel like, because you've got a quite a safe safe looking run yeah. in it back up. No death un un man. Unlike this one. This is death all day. But he commits. Sinks the putt. Beautiful. Great putt there from Ashton. <laughs> so I had to dip one putt right there. Well done. Is that how you putt? Being no. able to live one as well. I I dove straight. <laughs> I I putt straight into the water, straight into the op every time. Classic. Willie, safe putt with the bird. Tied up, one under a piece. Oh, Ashton. And oh, that nice. is okay. no longer <laughs> probably one under because he is missed the man over there. Drop zone is about 30 to 40 meters out. It is is not a mando you want to miss because it's pretty much a guaranteed bogey. At best. See if Willie can make the correction. Get down. Get round. Oh, a little left, a little left, but safe. He's made the mando, so he's, he'll be getting strokes here. From miles away. Unless Ashton can muster up a sick throw in. Looks like he's reaching for his AVR X3, maybe. Trusty disc. I know he leans pretty heavily on this one. He gave him a solid run there. Just a little bit long. Oh, had his wee this morning. So full commitment from Ashton there. Let's see if we can make this comeback here. Oh, unfortunate. That'll be a double for Ashton. That hurts. Willie with a look for Birdie to take some strokes on folks here. Yep, this time it catches. That was super clean. Beautiful birdie for Willie there to pick up. And uh, like, like the boy just said, three stroke swing in one hole. 
That is uh, a way to capitalize there. That's, that's going to hurt. But there's plenty of golf yet to be played, so... What would your uh, mindset be going into, obviously, hole eight? You're three strokes down. Are you just going to start playing conservative? Or you want to start going for a few things? Uh, if it was me, hole eight's a tough one. Hole nine's a tough one. I'd probably, you know, look for the par, play safe, play on track, and then put the hammer down on 10 and 11, but see what Ashton decides to do here. How about you, Jacob? Oh, sorry, I, I, can't, I can't comment on that. I'm not, not a group one professional like yourself, but that was absolutely laced from Willie down the gap there. That's exactly where we, what you want to be doing this hole. Keeping it nice and low and just pumping one down the middle. Low is the name of the game on this hole. There is a lot of branches and a lot of cabbage and a lot of OB if you swing too far left or too far right. So low and down the middle, like the boys have done, that is a... Look for birdie, but definitely a guaranteed par. That's the, that is the play on hole eight. Nice safe lap from Ashton there. He'll be taking a par and walking away with it. Willie with that rear bird. Don't see that one very often in this hole, which is uh, really, really a bonus birdie for a lot of people. But it's uh, definitely a good one to get. Absolutely. Good putt, good drive from Willie. Nabs in the bird. Again, more strokes. Going into hole nine. Hole, hole nine on the lead course can be quite tough. You've either got to throw a very uh, touchy backhand turnover, or a lot of people like Willie is opting for opt for a forehand. The only real danger is if you obviously make through the Mando, you can skip out OB onto the road. Or the footpath. The footpath, bro. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, that was nicely done for Willie there. Now, Ashton opting for the backhand. Again, a pretty tight hole that feels like it plays a bit further than 75. You've got a low ceiling, you've got OB, you want to put one straight. You want to have that soft right finish. That is beautiful from Ashton there. That's exactly how we would have drawn that one up. Using those uh, hiking boots to good effect, I see. Plenty of hills out here in Jelly. <laughs> I think they are the boys are joined by uh, Harry, a, a local disc golfer. I think he's been playing with Willie for, for some time now, I believe. Another oh, chain out. He, it out. <laughs> he did. He, as soon as he let that one out of his hand, he just knew it was not going he in. He knew it. He knew it. I feel like a lot of the time you, you do know. As, as soon as you let it go, you know if it's going in or not. Yeah, you always know. Oh, I knew that one was going in. Great birdie there from Ashton. One down. Yeah. <laughs> just, just as you hit him, one down. He's uh, getting back on track. Still got a bit of an up, uphill battle, but I wouldn't count him out just yet. Hole 10, little shorty. Trees in the way, but fairly easy holes. This is definitely one you want to get, and Ashton looks like he's got this one. Will he be looking to do something quite similar? Put something nice close to the basket. Because uh, putting on this hole with the hill and the slope can be tricky at times. He's got the line, he's got the anti skip, and he is parked. Is there anything you can do, I can do better, Ashton. <laughs> the, the name of the game there, Willie. Willie takes strokes, he takes advantages where he can. Not to say that Ashton doesn't as the defending champion, he is he's definitely one to watch out for. There we go, that was a nice one straight up the middle from Ashton. So, looking like he's back on track. Hole 11, another tight little fairway, low ceiling. Kind of a common theme at Jelly. <laughs> but both of the boys have laced it. That seems to be a common theme this round yeah. as well. They're nailing those drives and nailing those lines. It's just a little bit of, a little bit of trouble on the green. Let's uh, see if they can both put these in. Um, Ashton is still a few shots back. He's going to need to oh. make something happen. Willie trying to be Simon Lazotte there in the background. Not, not <laughs> yet, buddy. Not yet. But keep on working at it. <laughs> He's not far away. I've seen those Instagram posts. He's he's got it. He's got it. Ashton not able to convert the birdie. Let's see if Willie can. From circle's edge. What's he got? 
He's got to reset. That is, that's a professional move there. If you, if you need a second, you, you should take it because um, cameramen and pedestrians can be distracting. Good reset, great putt. Nabs the birdie. That's what great bird. Great bird on that one as well. It's not the easiest hole. Um, but he's done a great job there to take that one. Hole eleven's up there. It's 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 comes into that class of bonus birdies, so I would believe. Hole twelve, sixty-two really. meters, par three. You really just want to throw something into the hill, let it slide up. This for both of them is they're, they're wanting to get it. It's one of the must gets on the course for the group one players. Picturesque hole too. Look at that. Very, Jelly morning. Very cool throwing over the water there. Perfect. Both the boys have done a great job. Oh, Parked it up. <laughs> Be taking twos, twos all round, I'd say. Star frame coming up, I think. We'll see if they uh, continue to run into a bit of trouble on the green, or they can they can sink those past is, jobs. Is, is it a star frame if there's two on the car? That is a good question. Is it? Post in the comments below if you think two or three people on a card is a, is a star frame, or, or do you have to have a full card? Mm. You be the judge. Uh, that's that's an interesting one. We'll uh, find out. Really high cash money though. Good putt. Connection follow up. Yes. Great putt, Do we have it? We have it in the last three times. Yeah, there you have it. They reckon it must be a star frame. It must be a star frame. <laughs> Put it there first. Uh, group one final in the league. <laughs> Two on a card, star frame. <laughs> Moving on, hole 13. Mando left. Uh, with that skinny tree down the middle. Uh, tight gap. Tricky hole. I struggle on this one a lot. Um, I hit it, hit it many trees and bounced over the fence many times. <laughs> it is... It is. I did see it first hand as well. Yeah, <laughs> that was rough. That was rough. That ruined my round. Go. But Go these boys can hit gaps and not trees. How far left can you get? <laughs> it's all right. Well, it's still up there from both of them. Um, Willie definitely has an open look. Ashton may have one, a little cheeky backdoor one. Uh, they're onto the back nine, so as according to Ashton, he's going to start playing now. Which is sweet. <laughs> I, ooh, that's, that's tough. He's been so close on so many parts. wonder if that's starting to play on his mind now. Willie is... Five strokes ahead now, but man, I have personally seen Ashton put down the hammer, and Ashton is definitely not out of this yet. He is a champion. He can go on birdie streaks. That he, he could birdie out at this stage. He he's got that potential. All all of the Div One players really have that potential at this this short short course. But um, the OBs are tight on the lead course for the past two years. Jamie Jamie has done a great job designing this course with um, other fellow Christchurch players and it's it can be it can be grueling the OBs can get you if you don't lace your drives and land and bounce yeah I really enjoyed it as well um, coming to these last two hole, uh, last sort of stretch of holes that can be a game changer is actually oh. a that's not going to help his cause though um, but the only you know the only upside to that one is he can take an easy par from where we're going to be uh, Willie with another birdie look though that, that's a great example of those tight OBs, that, that rope line you can see to Willie's right. That's the OB line starting from the um, shingle. Oh, Willie drains it. He's a man on a mission today. But great, you, great putting, Willie. You really want to be inside those, those ropes because there's not a lot of room. Easy par cleanup fashion, though. He'll take that and move on. No harm, no foul. Hole 15, turnover, forehand, again a lot of OB, that little pitch out area on the left is uh, not in play on the lead course, so. Yeah, it really, it really tightens up there towards the pin, um, what's your go-to shot in the side? Um, Just a mid-range, flat turnover, make a three, keep it simple. Really going wide with the forehand, oh, it's very really lucky with tree. that tree. Good tree. Ashton's zone, maybe? Oh, man. He's yanked that one. 
And he split the gap, and he is OB again. That is very unlucky. It feels like nothing's going his way at the moment. Ashton, Ashton, Ashton. That must hurt. Especially with Willie tearing up this uh, little five in a row birdie streak. Look at that. It's your play from from where Ashton is, Jacob. Would you lay it up, take the bogey? Would you run it? Uh, well, for me personally, if it's this point in time, you're just going to have to be running everything. Um, Especially in a league, it's one versus one, so um, you're trying to catch mm -hmm. Willie essentially. So laying up's not really going to do any good, but uh, I'm sure Ashton knows that, and uh, we'll see a good run out of him here for sure. I reckon. Yeah, in this match play scenario, he's at the point now where he's um, what is he six strokes behind? He's going to have to run everything, and that is commitment. That is respect to the putt run. Respect on the run. But Got to respect the run. That's OB again. Is that a double? Ouch. That's unfortunate for Ashton. Willie cleaning up the, right. the par there. Going for it? Oh, I'm going to have to. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 you heard it from the boys themselves. He's, he's going to have to go for it. He knows it. Here comes the hammer. Can he slam it or will he get crushed? Now, hole 16 is 149 metres and it's the only par 4 on the lead course. Great hole. Pushing the tee back a little bit back on, a, on better footing this year from teeing off on the dirt. I think it's a great change. Um, less damage, you know, on the grass, and the road provides a, a very good, good yeah. tee pad, often more alternative tee pad. Great change from from Jamie, and I think Cam had a lot of input into this hole as well. Really crush one up the middle. Ashton will be looking to do the same. Ashton tends to go for the putter layup and then spike Kaiser, but it looks like he's going for it, and it doesn't look like that's worked out too well for him. Don't really want to be up against that fence. Speaking from experience, you do not <laughs> have a lot of room to move. Oh, man. It can't be a tough place to get out of. Yeah, Ashton's definitely got the skill set to do it, though. Wonder what he'll, he'll yeah. opt with. The backhand is a bit restricted because the fence gets in the way of being on that angle, but the forehand, you've got more more open-up movement, but maybe a bit harder to get it get it to the green with the forehand. I can see him, he's sizing up, he's not quite sure either. <laughs> Looks like he's going to go to the back end. Wide back end, into the branches. Unfortunate again for Ashton. Well, he's a long way up here. He does have quite a tough look into the green with those low hanging branches, however. Should the, way be a, he, the way he's playing today, I'm sure he can pull something off. A little bit of magic, maybe. Should be a pretty stock hyzer. Low, ooh, very low hyzer. Skip. Off the bin. Onto the statue and inbound cobbles. Good good shot there from Willie. Well, silly, but I'm sure it's exactly how he drew it up. He's got to look for bird. I'm sure, sure that's exactly how he pictured it. Well, maybe not exactly, but does the job. Oh no, Ashton getting those branches and dropping short. It's going to be a long look for his uh, par, I believe. I wonder if he's, he's going to run that. He's definitely running it. Ooh, unfortunate, just a little right and a little uh, low. He's really for his bird. A little bit of a straddle putt out from the rock there. Bangs it, no problem. He's been on fire today. His basket's starting to catch now for Willie. That's, he's had a few chain outs, but he's, he's got his eye locked in now. That that's is scary. That's he's had putting. a few chain outs and <laughs> look at his score still. Yeah, this could be an absolutely ripper of a round from Willie if, if he missed. I think he's had like four or five chain outs. I think they've both been pretty unlucky with the baskets today, oh. to be honest. Oh, low from Ashton. There's another basket hit right there. Yep. A lot of medals, a lot of misses too. It's unfortunate. It is, it is. But they do say never up, never in. It's a good good little mantra to remember. Hole 17, forehand hyzer or low backhand right. tunnel shot. Yes. Willie obviously didn't hear me there when I said low backhand tunnel <laughs> shot. <laughs> Leave it high, that's alright. Let's see what Ashton's got for us. A lot of cabbage here at the moment. 
Is Ashton going to Spy Kaiser? <laughs> he looks like he's lined up with Spy Kaiser. What? This is honestly the first time I've ever seen this play on the hole. Well, that's gone into orbit. And, yep. Come Boom. down. Tombstone. Safe. Very safe. <laughs> Pretty. Sweet. Willie with a huge circle two putt. Looks like he's running it. I don't think, I think I've ever seen him lay up, to be honest with you. Good run. Commit, committed to that one for sure. See if Ashton can pull one back here. The long uh, downhill look. Oh, another chain. High right. Unfortunate. It was a good good effort from Ashton. Yeah, when it's not your day, it's not your day. Willie with the comebacker. Oh, another one. High left out. Oh, Willie. It looked like he wanted a taco, that one, but he's looking <laughs> pretty comfortable. Uh, I think he'll be, be feeling... Bit frustrated with that one, but at the end of the day, he's got a <laughs> quite a substantial lead going into the last hole. <laughs> hole 18, great way to finish. I'd like to see this hole with a with an island green next year. An island green, come on, man, really? Yeah, it draws up perfectly. Oh, you hang out at the tree. Yeah, true, true. Man, maybe, maybe we'll have to wait and see for next year though. Right. See what Jamie's got in store for us. Ashton out, out left. A little bit of an early release, perhaps. What's Willie got? Looks like Willie's throwing the taco, speaking of tacos. It's his, uh, his soft tactic, I believe. It's his, his new money disc, he tells me. <laughs> Caught the tree again. Another another lucky lucky uh, save there from the tree. Uh, you have a chance to finish off strong. Uh, finish with a birdie would be nice. I'll play right well at Brooke here, he says. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are not at Brooker today. We are at the, the league finals at Jelly. Oh, that's another good run from Ashton and some more medal. Just not the right medal, unfortunately. Not Ashton's day, unfortunately. Here we got uh, Willie looking for a bird to close out the round. Great part from Willie. Money. That puts Willie on nine down. What a what an absolute crusher of a round, and that could have, that had potential to be a lot lot higher. And uh, Ashton finishing there with a par and a plus two overall. Uh, Jeremy, what are your thoughts for the round? Tough day for Ashton at the office. Uh, Willie absolutely crushing it with that neg nine. Had had potential for a 13 or 14 under if those chain outs just stuck. They just got really unlucky with a few spit outs, both of them. Ashton will still have another chance to make the finals with the second chance finals coming up. Thank you for watching A Below Par production. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends, and keep shooting below par.